So what happens when you exercise is, is you really are damaging your muscles. That's basically what happens, and that's, that's how we improve our performance over time, is you're, you're really doing these little micro tears and, and little, little pieces of damage throughout your muscle. Now, usually what happens as a consequence of that is you get an inflammation. There's, a, there's an inflammatory response in your muscles as a consequence of this damage from pushing yourself really hard. And um, what you might do under normal circumstances is take an aspirin, take some sort of anti-inflammatory. And that's really the basis of action for, for why that, that, that dull pain goes away when you have an, an aspirin or ibuprofen or something like that. So uh, what massage seems to do is it actually helps in the same sort of way. It reduces the inflammatory response as a function of the damage incurred while you're exercising. So when you get a, a, a massage after you've exercised and you've caused that damage, you're damping down that inflammation, which is really the basis for the soreness you feel uh, after the exercise. So what we did was we recruited uh, a, a number of young, healthy males. And those males were then intensively exercised on a, on a bike, what's called going to the max, essentially. And so they went to exhaustion. So they were pedaling so that they literally couldn't pedal anymore. And that damaged their muscle. We know for sure that the muscle was damaged because we did follow-up studies which showed that. They were then had uh, little samples of muscle taken before and after the exercise. And then one of their legs was randomly chosen and massaged for 10 minutes. And then there was another biopsy taken from their leg. So the, these guys actually had quite a number of biopsies taken before the massage before the exercise, after the exercise, and after the massage on both legs. And so using that kind of approach, we were able to evaluate how beneficial the massage was comparing the massage leg to the non-massage leg.